Hey everyone, I have a little paracord project that we could try today. It's a two color monkey fist with a series of snake knots here at the top made into a keychain. So I'm starting off with two pieces of paracord. One of them is 55 centimeters long and the other one is 75 centimeters long and I just want to start by tying an overhand knot so I'll just put them together and then I'm going to tie an overhand knot around my finger here just a simple knot and then as we tighten this up just tighten it so it tightens up right at the edges here so try and work the knot right to the end if you can't get it right to the end, that's fine. You can always cut the ends off. But if we can tighten it to the end, that makes it a bit easier. And then try and shape this as much as you can into a little ball because we're going to form our monkey fist around it. So once we've tied our overhand knot, I just want to place that in between my two fingers here and then I'm going to take the shorter of the two strands and I'm going to start wrapping that around my two fingers going around in this direction here and we're going to take three wraps just tuck that knot underneath the wraps here and then I'm going to take my other strand and I'm going to wrap it around these ones and I have to do that by tucking it up through my fingers pulling that through and again we are going to take three wraps so tuck it up in between your fingers and around and I'm wrapping it up in this direction here one more wrap and try not to cross your strands over because it's hard to uncross them later on so try and keep your strands here nice and parallel and once you've done your three wraps we just want to gently take this off of our fingers and then we're going to take three more wraps in this direction let's start by diving our free end through the upper loop here up through the lower down through the upper loop and again we are going to take three wraps So that's two, one more, for three, making sure everything's nice and parallel. And then just check your faces to make sure that there's three strands on each side. So it's three here, three here. Okay. All our faces have three strands and now we want to begin to tighten this knot up. The next stage is to tighten this up and we want to tighten it from the stopper knot all the way through the knot so we just have to locate where our stopper knot is and then just make a mental note of where these strands exit. One exits here and the other one exits on this side here. So I'm going to start off with a shorter strand and I'm just going to pull slack through the whole knot. Just pull it all the way through until you get to the end here. So that's that one done. I've done it loosely. I'm going to tighten it up more as we progress just so the knot doesn't distort too much. And then my red strand came out over here. So I'm starting here. And again, we just want to follow this all the way through 
taking out the slack and then we'll progress from there. Once we've tightened up our monkey's fist we can tie our snake knots around here and we just want to start with the monkey's fist up here and the strands coming down and we're going to take our left hand strand over the right and then behind both of those strands making a loop. Then I'm going to take my other strand behind and then tuck it down through that loop. And then we just want to carefully tighten this one up because we want to keep these two legs here the same size. So just be careful with your first one. Get both of these strands about even. And then we are just going to tie another three of these snake knots. So over and then around the back to make a loop. And then the other strand around the back and through that loop and then this snake knot we just want to tighten that up against the first. And then I'm just going to tie two more over and behind to make a loop. Then take my other strand behind and through that loop and tighten that snake knot up against these two. And then just one more over and behind to form a loop and then take my other strand behind and through that loop. And once we've done our snake knots we have one more bit to go and we are finished. To finish this off I'm just going to fuse these two pieces together so I'm going to cut these at about two and a half three centimeters from the end of these snake knots. And I just want those strands to be even. Cut them through and then what I want to do is just heat both of these strands up. Just try and get heat onto both of them and then quickly push them together. And you should have them fused. So here's the finished piece and you can finish it off by hooking in a snap.